Lots to talk about right now when it comes to Tampa Bay sports. The Lightning home opener starts in just a couple of hours at Amelie. The Bolts, who are favored to win the Stanley Cup this year, are taking on the Florida Panthers. And of course, the Rays advancing to the division playoffs. The team is in Houston right now, getting ready to face off with the tough Astros team. And within the last hour, tickets went on sale for the playoff games at Tropicana Field. Well, momentum is building in St. Pete following a thrilling wild card win. Our Sarah Hollenbeck is outside the Trop with how businesses are gearing up and how a playoff run could impact the race future in Tampa Bay. The Rays will be right back here on Monday at the Trop to take on the Astros for game three and the team is expecting a packed house. It's been a long six year wait for Rays fans, but all that anticipation leading up to this moment. We're excited, you know, go Rays. Success always brings people together. St. Pete Bar is getting ready to host huge watch parties with booming speakers and hundreds of TVs. The Avenue even branding their burgers with the Rays logo. We're here to support the team, um, you know, whether it be a home game or an away game. The Rays success is bittersweet for others, knowing the team's future in Tampa Bay remains uncertain. The team saying earlier this year it wants to explore playing half the season in Canada. We know the possibilities and, you know, the Montreal thing and, uh, I don't even want to give any thought to any potential negativity. Just let it lay where it is for now. The area around the trop flourishing. Construction on new apartments dotting block after block. We're going to have a whole lot more people downtown, so uh, the attendance is going to go up. Guaranteed. Businesses and fans hoping all of us will embrace the team, showing our support now more than ever. Hang out on the streets. Show the team that you really care. Wear your hats, wear your jerseys, wear your shirts. The AL Division Series starts tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and downtown bars tell us they are ready to keep the momentum and excitement going. Reporting in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.